best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. President Trump with a stern warning to North Korea on the heels of a report that the Communist North has made a breakthrough in its nuclear weapons program. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. The U.S. could be one big step closer to war with North Korea tonight. A new report says the regime has made alarming and significant progress toward its goal of being able to reach American cities with a nuclear warhead. The Washington Post reporting North Korea's scientists have produced a miniaturized warhead capable of fitting inside its intercontinental ballistic missiles. Correspondent Rich Edson starts us off with what we know from the State Department. Good evening, Rich. Now, good evening, Brett. And the already advanced timeline to address North Korea's weapon capability is now even shorter. Press reports claim North Korea is achieving weapons technology faster than previously estimated as the U.S. intensifies its international campaign to keep the Kim regime in check. North Korea has a nuclear warhead small enough to fit in a missile. That's the assessment of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the Washington Post reports. That prompted President Trump, speaking at an event on opioid addiction, to mirror recent North Korean rhetoric. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power the likes of which this world has never seen before. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is in Asia, already pressing allies and adversaries to enforce sanctions against North Korea, isolate it, and constrict its resources. One analyst says this report introduces new urgency to that campaign. The time horizon in which uh, the U.S. has to act if it is trying to prevent North Korea from getting this capability has been shortened dramatically. And so I think that raises the pressure both on the United States uh, and, and hopefully that will then mean that the U.S. raises the pressure on the countries that it's working with to try to reach a solution here. Analysts claim North Korea's recent launches show its missiles can reach the United States. The Kim regime would still need to successfully mount a nuclear warhead to an intercontinental ballistic missile and demonstrate it could hit a target. The United Nations Security Council approved this weekend stricter sanctions against North Korea. China joined more than a dozen nations in unanimously voting for the additional measures. I think China feels this. I mean, when I talk to the Chinese ambassador, when that missile test took off, they felt it in China. It was so close to their border that the ground shook. China has failed to fully enforce previous sanctions. It accounts for 90% of North Korea's trade, though the administration sees China slowly shifting to address its aggression, while the U.S. argues North Korea's behavior is also a threat to China's economic plans and prosperity. In response to the latest round of U.N. Security Council sanctions, North Korea says of the U.S. and its allies that they are packs of wolves coming into attack to strangle a nation, and that physical action will be taken mercilessly with the mobilization of all its national strength. Secretary Tillerson continues this international campaign in Malaysia, a country that has seen its own strain in relationship with North Korea. This was after a February episode where Kim Jong-un's half-brother, estranged half-brother, was assassinated in Kuala Lumpur's airport. Brett? Rich Edson, live at the State Department. Rich, thank you.